Welcome back to Elijah Hats Gaming, folks. It's Nico here playing Pokemon Red. Uh, those of you just joining us, uh, I just made it to Pewter City uh, with my uh, two Pokemon, my Bulbasaur and my Nidoran. And I think I'm gonna go try to fight Brock. I don't think either of my Pokemon know any moves that are super effective against him yet. Uh, so I'm hoping maybe they'll level up against the trainer in his gym. So, uh, I realized, uh, when I was, uh, talking with a friend last night about, uh, the fact that you can't catch Mankey in the, the grass where I caught my Dinoram, I realized, you gotta... Why are both the, the, the gym trainer in this? Oh, I never actually healed my Pokemon. Oh, I have no idea what the HP of my Nidoran looks like. Uh, oops. Uh, good job, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, I, I realized that uh, I'm not going to be able to catch Sandshrew, which is a shame. Because uh, it's uh, blue only. And Sandshrew is actually one of my uh, like, personal favorite Gen 1 Pokemon, because um, like I mentioned before, I, re I like uh, ground types, but my first ever Pokemon card actually was a uh, Sandshrew card a friend gave me, uh, so Sandshrew meant a lot to me. Uh, I also thought his Gen 1 sprite right here was, was really cute too, I might be in the minority for that one. Uh, but he's, uh, blue version exclusive, uh, it's, it's a shame. Uh, the last time I actually played a Gen 1 game, uh, well, I, I did a Nuzlocke, uh, which is, if you're not familiar with the concept, it means you're only allowed to catch the first Pokemon you run into on each route, and then your Pokemon faint, uh, they're dead, quote-unquote, you either release them or put them in a box and never pull them back out. Um, and, uh, I did a Gen 1 Nuzlocke, and uh, ha I did it on blue version, and I had a Sand Slash in my party for a while, and when he actually <sighs> fainted, it was upsetting, to say the least. Um, I, call it, I called him Sand Flash, not a very creative nickname, but uh, if any of you know anything about the critical hit, uh, mechanics in this game, you'll realize that basically when he used Slash, it just about always got a critical hit. So, uh, he was really fast and could do an absurd amount of damage. Um, so, personal favorite that I definitely won't be able to train here. But I think it's funny looking back on my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon, I didn't even realize I couldn't catch in the game. Which makes me wonder if, uh, I think the first time I ever trained was actually playing my older brother's a copy of Blue before I owned Red. Um, and like I said, it was Sandshrew's my first era Pokemon card. I got pretty into the card game for a while when I was little. Um, me and my older brother both really enjoyed playing it. Uh, I love the, to this day, I love the Game Boy Color uh, Pokemon trading card game. game. Um, I even downloaded the copy of the ROM of the Japanese exclusive sequel. Um, and uh, patched it to English so that I'd be able to um, play it and understand it. Um, I think I'm gonna try to level up. See, I don't know what level um, Bulbasaur or Nidoran learn like moves that'll do damage uh, to rock types. Cause uh, I don't want to waste a ton of time grinding. At the same time, I don't want to uh, waste time losing to Brock either. Okay, it's just gonna be a bad day again. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try to raise. Alright, around one more level. Uh, 
but uh, I've gone through phases with the Pokemon trading card game. I've played a lot of other trading uh, trading card games, collectible card games over the years. Oh, Metapod. It's actually really rare for me to run into in your version. Uh, probably part of the reason I never trained uh, Fighter Free. Um, I went through phases. I, I'm always like tempted to buy Pokemon cards. Like anytime I walk into like a Target or a Walmart, I always look at what they have. Um, and I, I currently have some cards in the recent X and Y sets that I enjoy playing really casually with friends and my brothers, uh, my girlfriend, that kind of thing. But um, as far as getting like, hardcore into the tournament stuff, I've never really tournaments were never really my scene with the Pokemon card game. Uh, I did a little bit of Magic the Gathering tournaments, I did uh, Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments and Naruto card game tournaments when I was younger. But uh, Pokemon's kind of a, always been a really casual game for me. Uh, and I've had some friends who were super into it and super competitive, and that was crazy. But I also just if I see there's a new theme deck out, it's Pokemon I love, I buy it. It's how I got a Mamoswine deck a while back. Uh, it's why I have a Galvantula deck and a Noivern deck now. Um, that's basically always just been it. Is it's a way for me to uh, give my favorite Pokemon some love. And it's more what I do rather than uh, try to be good at the game. Card games and stuff take an absurd amount of money. I have friends who've dropped like hundred dollars in Magic the Gathering cards, and personally, I, even though I've pretty much gotten out of the game at this point, uh, I'm no longer really playing Magic, I still own cards worth over a hundred dollars, and I started playing, you know, like seriously, as an adult, guy of cards that uh, I got when I was in high school that are now worth over a hundred dollars. It's not like I'm talking about like old collectible cards, I'm talking about new ones, and that baffles me some days. <laughs> people pay this much money for little pieces of cardboard. <laughs> I just... It totally blows my mind. And, like, I understand it on some level because there are people who play card games for a living. And, I mean, great. People who play video games for a living, too, you know? I currently don't do anything for a living, so I can't judge too much. But, uh... I just can't ever picture myself spending hundreds of dollars on... A Magic the Gathering deck. I know I cumulatively, I'm sure I've spent that much on decks of my own, and I've got, still got some really fun, even really uh, expensive decks together. Uh, but I can't see myself ever sitting down really again to get back that far into a card game. I'm sure I'll get sucked back in at some point. You know, I say all this, but I'm currently playing you know two different miniatures games, and I still play a. Uh, I think the term is living card game, where uh, you get every single card of the set in a pack. It's more expansion, so than... there's no randomization process. Uh, I play a game right now called Netrunner, and I'm I, okay at that game. I've met the reigning world champion of the game on them, actually. Uh, that was a fun day. Uh, our store, uh, where I'm from, hosted at the store championships, and... Uh, and uh, the reigning champs from the same general area of the country as I am, so he came down there. Uh, and uh, I didn't get a chance to face him, but one of my buddies did. Uh, he actually won the tournament the day. I didn't do great, but I did, did better than anyone else from our local store, so I can't complain too much. Um, and he's now back-to-back -back champion, so just having met someone like that uh, is a really cool experience, you know. Well, I guess I said I was going to level him up once more. Uh, still no moves that are gonna give me super high of damage. Uh, we're gonna go try to beat Brock. I really don't know how this is gonna go. It could go really well or really poorly. Um, I'm just gonna try it. I think I've got like two potions. And I think I've got like a strategy in mind, so... I'm gonna try something. We'll see how it works. I mean, I have a Bulbasaur, like... The first gym should not be a problem, but he hasn't learned Vine Whip yet, and I honestly don't know what level he learns it, and I'm impatient. I don't want to sit around grinding, especially when I'm playing for you guys, because uh, I could only have so much to talk about, honestly. Uh, I really like the, uh, the fact that Pokemon Origins kind of 
put this idea in canon that the gym leaders use different Pokemon depending on how many badges you have so far. Uh, and I think I have this really cool headcanon actually that that's why Giovanni's gym is in Verdian City so close to where we're trying to start out is Giovanni actually uh, if he was back when he still was operating his gym more where better for him to be than right near the beginning of the, the trainer's journey where they're gonna still new and uh, might believe they're uh, have a lot going for them might believe they've got a lot of chances for uh, uh, all kinds of things to happen in their Pokemon journey um, so I think that makes like perfect sense for a spot for it. Right, now what I'm doing here is, since I don't have a super effective move, him using defense curl is going to suck. But I uh, at least shoot him and now he's growl twice, drop the attack. I don't think he's going to be able to hurt me either. But eventually, I will wear him down. At least that's the idea. We'll see how it works. I wonder if Leech Seed ups the damage from Bide. And you really like using Defense Girl. I'm pretty sure he's just using a random one of his four attacks. I don't know, he might have less than four. He might only have like three. Uh, which might explain why he keeps using the same ones. But I don't have that. I'm only doing one damage per attack here. This is great. Good job, Brock. You know, my Bulbasaur is at full health, so clearly my strategy is working. I, I had... Mother... I had to say something. I just had to open my mouth and say, Oh look, I'm still at high health. It's okay. He, his defense has to be at, like, max by now. That's what I thought. Keep using defense scroll. Go ahead. Oh, it's such a stupid AI. I'm actually gonna. I'm just gonna finish off the tackle. Thought about trying to squeeze an extra. Oh, I, I was thinking about trying to squeeze an extra HP out of him since. He might have used Defense Scroll again, but he didn't, so I guess it's good that I uh, chose to use Tackle. There we go. And now the rest of this fight's going to be really short. Alright, just for the sake of being super careful. Yeah, I was worried he might do that. I'm going to use Leech Seed. That's what I thought. Growl again. And now, Vine Whip. I always thought it was a shame that Vine Whip had such low power. Or low PP, rather. Like, it's your beginning grass type move, it's not that powerful. Why am I gonna give it 10 PP? Like, I feel like I could be wrong, but I don't think Water Gun or Ember have that low PP. So I feel like Bulbasaur really gets short into the stick there. Oh, one badge down. I think I did that in pretty close to an hour of gameplay. Um, I remember uh, one of my friends once told me that uh, speedrunning this game, keep in mind this is not really speedrunning this game, but he told me that if it takes you more than two hours to get from one badge to the next, you're taking too long, and that you should be able to beat the whole game uh, in 18 hours. And that's probably a more than generous. Uh, depending on how you're playing, but I would not categorize spending 18 hours on a game as a speed run. I got really into Twitch Plays Pokemon actually a little while back, uh, and was there for both the Pokemon Red Twitch live streams. Uh, and uh, I have some funny, uh, just wonderful experiences there. Alright, folks, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon up. This has been Nico for 100 Hats Gaming. Uh, don't forget, I, again, still have no idea what else I'm going to train. 
So if there are any Pokemon you want me to catch, or nicknames for those Pokemon once I catch them, feel free to comment them below, and make sure you subscribe so you know when our next video will be coming out. Alright folks, take care.